Welcome back to M Squared, where we help you master your money and grow your wealth. In today's video, we're tackling one of the biggest financial myths, why the rich get richer, and how you can use those same strategies to reach your first $100,000 faster than you ever thought possible. We'll break down why hitting that $100,000 mark is a game changer, how the power of scale and compound interest work in your favor, and give you actionable tips on how to save and invest smarter, not harder. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what steps to take to supercharge your financial growth. Have you ever heard the phrases money makes money or the rich get richer? These sayings exist for a reason and today, I'm going to break down why they're so true, why your net worth tends to skyrocket after hitting $100,000, and how you can build wealth without getting stuck at that $100,000 milestone. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand why reaching this number is crucial, but you'll also have some key tips on how to get there faster and what to focus on instead. Let's dive in. So why does wealth explode after $100,000? Many people believe that once you reach a certain financial threshold, you suddenly unlock access to secret investment opportunities that the wealthy enjoy. But the truth is, there are two important reasons why wealth tends to accelerate at the $100,000 mark and neither has to do with hidden investment strategies. Number one, the power of scale. Let's talk about the first key reason, the scale of capital. Imagine you're investing $1,000 at a 10% annual return. After one year, that investment grows to $1,100, a $100 profit. Now, if you invest $10,000 with the same 10% return, you'll earn $1,000. And if you have $100,000 invested, that same 10% return would give you a profit of $10,000. Notice something? The percentage return stays the same, but the more money you invest, the larger your absolute profit. This is the magic of scale. The larger your capital, the bigger your returns. And as you keep increasing the size of your investments, your wealth compounds faster. Number two, the magic of compound interest. The second factor that makes the rich get richer, compound interest often called the eighth wonder of the world. Compound interest means you're not just earning returns on your initial investment, you're also earning returns on the returns you've already made. It's like your money starts working for you, and then that money starts working for itself. Let's look at an example. Suppose you save $1,000 every month with an 8% average annual return. After seven years, you'll have saved $100,000. That first milestone feels like it takes forever, right? But from there, things speed up. To reach the next $100,000, it'll only take about four years because you're now earning 8% on a much larger amount. And after that, each additional $100,000 comes even quicker. By the time you hit $1 million, earning an extra $100,000 takes just over a year. The beauty of compound interest is that it accelerates as your wealth grows. At the beginning, it's the hardest because you're doing all the heavy lifting yourself. But once compound interest kicks in, it starts doing the work for you. This is why so much financial advice for beginners focuses on cutting costs. Every penny counts early on. But as your wealth grows, it's less about cutting expenses and more about letting your money work for you. So, how to save $100,000 faster. Now that you understand why hitting that $100,000 mark is so important, let's talk about how to get there faster. Tip 1. Invest for longer periods. Time is one of the most powerful factors in wealth building. Let's say you're earning $60,000 a year and you're able to invest 20% of that or $12,000 annually. With an 8% return, you'd have around $730,000 after 23 years. But here's the kicker. If you can keep investing for just four more years, your savings will jump to over $1 million. The real magic happens the longer you invest because the bulk of your gains come at the end of your investing journey, not the beginning. So even if you haven't hit $100,000 yet, just start with what you have. Over time, the interest you earn starts to earn its own interest, creating a snowball effect that accelerates your wealth. Tip two, increase how much you can invest. It's not just about finding the perfect investment. Many people get caught up in optimizing for an extra one or 2% return. While that's helpful, it's not the real game changer. The real difference maker is increasing how much you can invest each month. For example, if you're investing $200 a month at 10% for 30 years, 
you'd end up with just under $400,000. If you managed to improve your returns by 2% per year, you'd have close to $600,000. That's a nice boost, but what if instead of focusing on returns, you double how much you invest each month? By increasing your contributions from $200 to $400 monthly, you'd end up with around $800,000. A huge difference. All because you invested more consistently. So instead of stressing over stock market returns, which are largely outside your control, focus on things you can control, like negotiating a better salary, starting a side hustle, or finding other ways to boost your income. Use the stock market as a tool to multiply the wealth you're generating, rather than relying on it to make you rich. The bottom line. There are many paths to building wealth, but the key principles remain the same for everyone. Invest early, invest consistently, and increase your contributions as much as possible. If you start building good financial habits now, you'll be in a strong position when you're ready to invest larger sums down the line. Remember, the combination of time, compounding, and consistently increasing your investments is your secret weapon to growing your wealth. Start now, and let the magic of compounding work in your favor.